guys, this is Felix Deer, aka the Easy Blender Man, and today I'm going to be showing you how to animate a shot firing for a revolver, or which you can take into any other gun that you may have made in Blender. A lot of people say that you need a rig for guns, you don't, all you need to do is have all the moving parts, aka trigger, hammer and magazine, into objects, and that is fine, you'll have it working once we, you finish this video and do whatever you want. So I've got a slight render glitch here, but... Don't worry about that, it's just where I've had two faces, because when you transfer into Unity, which this does work for, you don't need a rig for this, uh, when you transfer into Unity, uh, you have back face curling, so etc, etc. If you don't know about that, maybe I'll tell you about it in another video. But anyway, this is how you're going to animate this gun. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Animation, up here. And I've already done this, but I'm going to just delete everything, just for the sake of helping you guys out. Right. So you have up here you have your dope sheet which gets all your keys in and you have here where the animation is. So what you want to do is you want to start on frame zero and say what we need to do is start with the trigger going backwards as it happens with all guns. So you go into orthographic view on the right and you go down here and you click automatic keyframe insertion. This is only for easy animations but if you get into hard ones you do not want this. This is mainly for easy ones. So you just go rotate around the X axis. okay? and then just click and you'll see here that a dope sheet has marked out some keyframes and here we've got it's been marked out here as well so let's say we're going to do this over a period of four seconds uh, sorry a period of five frames which if you're doing 60 frames a second is quick which is good because if you're firing a revolver quick it means you can fire bullets quick it makes sense and the animation works well so you get to the where you want the movement to end and you rotate around the X till you get to where you want it so let's say there that's fine so if you watch this from the beginning, you'll just see it go back very simply. Very simple and smooth. It will do it smoothly, it won't jag at it, unless you tell it to. So then we're going to go over to our hammer. This will, dope sheet, it will be here, the other animations, but it won't be down here. And you, look at your hammer, there we go. We're going to go rotate around the x-axis, remember, then just click, that's fine, that's all you want. Then you go to frame number four. These are the frames you can just type in here, just go bang, four, enter, and then you rotate around the x-axis back to where you want it let's just say there I'm just doing this for a short video so if you watch here we will have a perfectly made animation for the start with the end we're gonna have to put them back to their original spot but that that's that's easy stuff okay so what we do now is we are going to do the magazine so for this one we want to go to the front view and because it's going to be rotating 60 degrees because I have 6 bullets and 306 divided by 60 is obviously 60 with the bullets, sorry, you got to add you got to grab the bullet and the magazine, there we go so we're going to go set origin to center of mass just for the sake of rotating and we're going to go around the Y axis, we're going to go R, Y and just click down, that's fine and we're going to go R, Y, 60 whoops, I've fucked up there majorly, we're going to go to the fifth frame because this one is a smooth so we're going to go R Y 60 and we're going to go like that so if you watch it over it will just be moving like that which is perfect so let's watch the animation from the beginning it's got to there but as you can see these haven't got back to their original spots this one we don't need to worry about with the bullets but this we do need to worry about so what we need to do here is we need to grab the original locations of our starting for the trigger which you can see here is according to this is plane 3 so if you grab that let me just delete all this using B and shift it's plane 3 you go whoops sorry uh, -da 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 -da. right plane 3 so you take that you duplicate it and you take that to number 5 so if you go back to the beginning you will see it goes back. The hammer we need to do now. So we click on the hammer. That's uh, going to be plane 02. And we, sorry, we'll have to delete those. We'll go plane 02. It will select these three. You duplicate and drag it to the fifth frame. So now if we watch this over from the beginning, bang, easy animation for a shot. So if you want to take this into Unity, you just export as FBX with animations like so. I'll just show you how to do that quickly. You go, I'm just going to save this for the sake of argument. File, export, FBX, 
you come down here and then you click it will probably probably be selected already but it should be should be a selection for baked animation yep just tick that bang they'll come with it which is awesome so thank you for watching this video on how to uh, perform a trigger shot animation and next video I'll be showing you how to reload this revolver. Thanks for watching guys. See you later. This was the Easy Blender Man.